Today, let's talk about a super useful feature, performance condition. Think of it as your smart running coach. It gives you real-time feedback on your current fitness level and running performance. During the first six to 20 minutes of your run, your watch analyzes your pace, heart rate, and heart rate variability. Then, it gives you a numeric score for your fitness condition. This number shows how your current performance compares to your VO2 max baseline. A score of plus one means you're performing above your baseline. You can expect better running performance. The higher the number, the better your condition. For example, if your performance condition score is plus four, you're in great shape and can expect a solid workout. But if you see a minus three, it means you're more fatigued than usual. Maybe your last workout was intense or you didn't get enough rest. On days like this, you can either run at a lower intensity or pace or simply take a rest day. Your first few runs with a new watch might show some variation in results. That's because your watch is still gathering fitness data. But as you log more runs, the metric will become more accurate, making it a reliable training reference. You can even add performance condition as a data field on your activity screen to track your fitness status while running in real time. Things like uphill sections or strong winds might cause slight fluctuations in the score. But if a certain intensity starts to feel too tough and your score keeps dropping over time, so you can use the performance condition index to estimate when you're about to hit the wall. You can use this insight to adjust your training or race strategy. Next time you go for a run, give this feature a try. For more help, visit support.garmin.com.